This week, AI crossed the line. Study mode, autonomous agents, and a $1 billion no. OpenAI rolled out study mode, a tutor that teaches step-by-step -step autonomous agents that can navigate the web and yes, even click I am not a robot. Sam Altman says GPT-5 feels like a Manhattan Project moment. Meta's billion dollar offer? <laughs> Rejected. And Google, Microsoft, Nvidia, Adobe, and Ideogram all dropped major updates. Let's break down what changed and what you should do next. OpenAI's study mode is the most practical shift for teams and students. Instead of just giving you the answer, it walks you through the problem step by step. It asks questions, checks your understanding, and pushes you to show your work. It rolled out July 29th across free, plus, pro, and team plans. The education version is coming soon. This moves people away from copy-paste answers and toward guided learning, especially useful for STEM, for coding, and for structured problem solving. Why does it matter? If you lead a team, this is a built-in tutor for onboarding and upskilling. Pair it with weekly challenges and public scoreboard. You'll build skills without creating a course from scratch. Study mode equals tutor, not answer key. Agents that act. Here's the headline everyone debated. A chat GPT agent clicking through I am not a robot while browsing. This happened July 28th. The agent even narrated the step, then completed it. It sounds small, but it's proof these agents can complete multi-step tasks on the open web. They can navigate. They can fill forms. They can get past simple verification steps. This is powerful, it's also risky. Your governance checklist. Restrict agents to approved domains. Require human confirmation for payments or sensitive data. Log every action for audit. Start with low stakes workflows, research drafts, proposals. OpenAI says GPT-5 is their best model yet, especially for coding and for agent tasks. Some older models are now auto-routed to chat GPT-5 versions. You get more reasoning power, faster responses, and lower costs per task. And here's the kicker. Sam Altman said that testing GPT-5 made him feel useless. He compared it to the Manhattan Project. Whether you find that inspiring or alarming, it's a clear signal that it's a major capability jump. The smart move? Start productizing automation where GPT-5 is already reliable. GPT-5 means more brain, and fewer tokens. On August the 1st, the Wall Street Journal reported Meta offered a package worth about 1.5 billion to recruit a top AI researcher. They declined. The takeaway is simple. The frontier talent market isn't just about money. It's about mission, autonomy, and ownership. If you're hiring, lead with the problem you're solving, the data they'll work with, and the freedom to ship. Mission is greater than money for frontier talent. DeepMind launched Genie 3, a world model that turns prompts into explorable environments. It's early days for practical use, but it's a big step for simulations and for agent training. Google also relaxed Gemini's guided learning, similar to study mode. If you're platform agnostic, test both and standardize on the one that fits your security needs. Microsoft Copilot Studio has a multi-agent orchestration, better analytics, and a smart mode. Smart mode automatically picks the best model, including GPT-5. If you're a Microsoft shop, this is your fastest path to safe production agents. NVIDIA NIM is positioning as the deployment platform for AI. It's optimized, containerized inference, so you can serve models with stability and scale. Adobe. Adobe Firefly added generate sound effects in a beta form. Type metal gate slam and you get usable metal gate slams. Fully right in your browser timeline. They also improved text to video controls and opened access to third party models. Ideogram 3.0 is now the default for clean, brand safe typography and images. Their new character feature generates consistent characters from a single reference photo. Three shifts this week stand out. One, from answers to capability. AI now teaches you and it can act for you. Two, from models to systems. We're moving from chat windows to governed pipelines. Three, from salaries to sovereignty. Money alone won't win frontier talent. Mission and autonomy will. What to do next? Step one, internal upskilling. Pilot study mode or Gemini guided learning for one skill. 
a two-week cohort. Share wins every week. Step two, Safe Agent Sandbox. Pick three to five approved domains, require human sign-off for payments or for sensitive data, and log every action. Step three, cut costs per task. Move repeatable work to GPT-5. Track costs and reinvest savings into quality control. Step four, design for ownership. When hiring, pitch the problem ownership and roadmap control. If you can't outspend big tech, out-align them. The upshot of this is we just crossed the line. AI that teaches you, AI that works for you. The winners won't be the loudest, they'll be the fastest to operationalize this safely. Comment with the workflow you want me to blueprint next. Procurement, sales ops, recruiting, finance, I'll walk you through it in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. We'll see you next time.